Hey everybody, it's Brian, and welcome to the 56 Q tutorial with C++ and GUI programming. Um, today we're going to be covering the Q SQL table model, and I've already got some code written because I didn't want to waste your valuable time. In our project, we just have a reference to SQL, and in our main window, .h, we are using a main window instead of a dialog. We have some includes. We've got uh, QDebug, QtGUI, QtCore, and QtSQL. And in our private section, we've got QSQL database, named it DB, and QSQL table model, and it's just a pointer to model. And in our implementation, very simply, we're just setting the central widget to the table and opening the database connection here. Haven't done any real error handling just for the sake of simplicity. Let's just save and run, build this thing, make sure there's no major problems going on here. Now, if you've been following along with these tutorials, you already have a DSN set up called MyDSN32. Um, just going to show you the structure of my database real quick. We have one table called test. I'm sorry, one database called test with a table called people with three columns, ID, first name, last name, and we have Bob Hope, Will Smith, and my daughter, Heather Karens, in there. All right, now let's get to the heart of this tutorial real quick here. What we want to do is we want to populate our model and then display it. So we need to say model equal new Q SQL table model. And now we want to say model dot set table and we want to give it our table name. And then we want to say uh, model select and that selects the data and puts it into the model and now we want to display the model so we'll say UI table view set model alright save and run now if you build this and everything goes as planned you'll have data but if you've been following along religiously with my tutorials, you probably came up with something that had no data in it. And let me demonstrate that. Here's our DSN. Configure, next, next. You notice how I have this change default database too, and I have the actual database name selected. If you didn't do that, because I haven't told you to do that, then you end up with just a blank window, like this with no data in it. So if you get that and you're struggling and trying to figure out what in the world's going on here, there's a little trick I'm going to show you here. You can say QDebug model last error text and when you save and run this it says unable to find table people right down here. The reason why it can't find the table is you haven't told it where it is. So you go back into your DSN, just go configure, next, next, change the database to, and then give it the database you want to work with. Very simple. That's how you solve that problem. And voila, there's our data again. Now, one thing you should note is that this is editable. You can go in here and say Will Smith, baby, and hit enter. And when you go into the underlying database, you see there's Will Smith, and we'll just refresh that, and it's changed. Now, Will Smith, in my personal humble opinion, gets a little annoying after a few movies, so we're just going to change him back to Will Smith. Execute that, and you can see the data change back. Very simple, very powerful control, lets you uh, very easily allow the user to modify information. Uh, this is Brian. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video educational and entertaining. 